What's up, comic and pop culture fans? I'm joined today by Greg from Phantasm, who just got the collection that we dream about. This is not the Spawn ones or your Wildcat ones. These are the uh, ASM ones, the Daredevil ones. How'd you get this, man? Well, just behind the register, people walk into the shop. They're always trying to sell stuff. I finally got the phone call back that I wanted. This was a good one. They got back to me. So, yeah, went to go check it out, and it was legit. That's awesome. See that, guys? You do this enough, good things come to you. So, Greg invited me out. He told me about this awesome collection, and of course I was going to come check this out. I mean, there's some books in here I honestly didn't think I'd ever hold. Um, so, I was more than eager to jump at the opportunity. And so, what we're going to do today is we're going to showcase what you got in this awesome collection, but we're also going to talk about potential grades. We're focusing mostly on the major keys that we're probably submitting into CGC. And we're only going to be looking at the front cover. I'm not going to be opening up the books or looking at the back, which is really important when determining a grade. But we're going to give a rough guesstimate on the value of the book based purely mostly off of the cover. And we're kind of going to do a little flexing here because this is some seriously awesome books here, guys. Let's check it out. Pennsylvania and New Jersey friends, make sure to give some love to Phantasm Comics, and everybody give a little love to your local comic book shops out there. First up, Puppet Master, Fantastic Four number six, followed by number seven. Nice books. A lot of these books were in the lowest of the lows I saw was probably a 2-0. Some of the books going all the way up into the sixes range. Some very nice second Doctor Doom right there. First Impossible Man right here. Very nice. Uh, 3-5, anyone who knows Silver and Gold Age books knows that those are actually respectable grades. Uh, that is, those are sought after grades. I tend to try to keep out of the ones for the most part, but 3.5s, 4s, things like that are just fantastic. It's worth noting that I'm grading a little bit what I would call harshly. It's always better to grade harshly. That way, after a press, if it comes back a better grade, you find yourself even more excited. These fair market values I give down at the bottom is the recent-ish sales data on these books in these predicted grades that I've put here. Funny thing is, by the time CGC actually gets back, the fair market value will probably have shot up on most of these even more. So by the way, I'm not showing you every single book that would actually result in this video being easily over an hour. Essentially, we're showing the ones that he's definitely submitting to CGC, as well as maybe a few others in between sprinkled in. Here's a book heating up. First Atuma. Very nice. Great cover. The single Hulk issue. One through six, guys. You find these in the wild, you got some gold. First appearance of Metamorpho. And this is also the only DC book I'll be showing. Now heading into Journey into Mystery. Quick one before Thor takes over here. Here's an early under the 100s, number 97 for Sorto. A couple other small journey into mystery books here. Lately I've been really digging these red covers. It's like a new fascination of mine. Once they got over 100, I noticed there was a strong shift in the value of the comics. It, well, in terms of grade, I mean. Um, a lot of these were maybe read less than the earlier ones. Not too sure. But I was pretty impressed with the grades. A lot of these ended up maybe in the 4s and some of them even in the 5s, which is pretty nice. Remember, collections found like this in the wild, ones, ones that were read and loved, 
to find things in even twos to find things in the threes is fantastic. As long as it's together, pages not ripped out. A little more quote unquote recent Thors, relatively speaking, of course. We're going to leave Thor and do a couple Sergeant Fury in the Howling Commandos. Got 14, and up here we've got... Very nice. Uh, here's just a nice cover, 193. Classic Kirby cover. A couple smaller caps. This is just to showcase a few more of the books that he had. Not sure if these are going to CGC or not. And we're going to take a dip into Tales of Suspense. Here we got number 49, little X-Men crossover, pretty cool. First Mandarin, guys. That's a nice book, and I thought that was one of the nicer ones in the collection. First Black Widow, another one that could with a press. By the way, everything's getting a press. Maybe it could hit the five range. We'll see. Second appearance of Black Widow. Origin of the Watcher, very nice. One of my favorite first appearance covers out there, the first appearance of Hawkeye, guys. Very nice. I can't wait to see what a press will do to that. Here's a cool one, second appearance of Craven. That's also a classic cover right there. First Jarvis, yes. And it is a the first Silver Age cap story. Pretty nice shape, that one. A little origin issue right here. This is the second Black Knight, as you can imagine. Here's a book that's going to be heating up. How much you want to bet by the time CGC gets these books back, that fair market value is going to be much higher. <laughs> Classic Hulk cover here. Moving on to Strange Tales. Let's check them out. A couple good ones sprinkled within. Here's an underrated book, I feel. You guys know what this is. First Door Mamu. Pretty solid. Here's got a letter from a young George R.R. Martin. And there's actually, he does this a few times. A little Game of Thrones enthusiast will like that. I was very impressed with the grade on this uh, Spidey cover here. Uh, that one could maybe get a 6-0. Pretty cool. Uh, First Avengers Assemble appears in this. Wonder Man. This one was in a little bit less good shape than uh, some of those other ones. Still nice though. First Kang, and I'm thinking this one could hit in the fours, if not higher, with a press. I will be definitely curious to see what this can fetch. Classic cover. Winding down now, here's one that just got a lot more popular. First Baron Zemo. Then here's number six. Yeah. 
Everybody knows this one, First Revival of Cap, Silver Age, Cap and Bucky. That's an expensive book, guys. Classic cover. And now we got the big one. You ready? There it is. And it wasn't in too shabby of a condition, too, I might add. I bet it's going to get anywhere from a 2.5 at their worst all the way up to a potential 4.0. So we'll see. Moving on to some Spider-Mans here. Start you off with a couple small ones and we're going to get pretty big. Yeah, that first Avengers though, man, guys. And here's the first Scorpion. I mean, what a frickin' haul. This is the definition of a comic haul. This makes my comic hauls look pathetic. First appearance of Ned Leeds, very nice. The second Green Goblin, cool cover. Daredevil and Spidey meeting. That's a book I really want. First Mysterio. Whew, that's a that's a tough book to find, guys. Yikes. Nobody wants to sell that. Same here. Second Electro. Second Electro. I got to hold this. Never thought I would. Man. Very nice cover. It did have some soiling pretty badly on the cover, so a press and clean will help this a lot. But here we go. Amazing Spider-Man number one. First, J. Jonah Jameson. Very nice. Couple uh, chippings and some tears and things, but it is complete. That's a beautiful book. Now, a couple small daredevils right here. I'm a huge daredevil guy, so... Honestly, these were some of my favorites. Even out of the ASM 1 and the Avengers 1. I love this Purple Man cover. I want it so bad. Second appearance of Electro. Second Daredevil. And let's finish you off with the first appearance of Foggy, Karen Page, and Daredevil. Holy smokes, guys, that's a nice book. So guys, I just finished uh, editing this video, and I gotta say, I am still reeling from holding some of these books. I mean, ASM 1, First Daredevil, First Avengers, these really are books I never thought I would hold. First Black Widow, First Mandarin, First Hawkeye. There was absurdly impressive stuff in this collection. And, uh, you know, congratulations to Greg and Phantasm Comics for some really nice books. I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that the actual grades that you get after a press might even be one or two grades better than the grades I thought they would be. I guess we will find out in uh, the eight or nine months it's going to take CGC to actually get this all back. But, um... Good luck to you, my friend, and to all my viewers out there. Give Phantasm Comics a little bit of love, and as always, keep on hunting.